how should a science curriculum be formed? Well, I have said that we should learn from children what to teach them. I personally believe if you keep your ears open and if you encourage the curiosity of children to come out, you'll find the questions, the kind of questions which come, out of that you can begin to frame a curriculum. Not whole, but most of it, and you can then of course go off at tangents. Going off at a tangent from something you are discovering is a marvelous thing. Isse ye baat nikalti hai, isse ye nikalti hai, your connection. And then other things you can take even serially as they are taken. But if you keep on doing this, then you create a, 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 a world of understanding and connectivity for which you should give credit to children. If you if really can do that, in fact, I would say you don't need any teacher training camps. Teacher training camps should be, teachers should keep on learning from children, they'll never be out of date. Because children are more current, more modern than any textbook which is written. They get more gadgets to see, they more see more phenomena, they observe more things and they ask questions. Respect their curiosity and if you don't know the answer, tell them, Bhai, I don't know, shall we find out together? And if you go to this, shall we find out together, these days children have access to internet and so on, which many teachers don't. And they'll find out and teachers will go on learning, mm. along with students. We should realize this world has changed during the last 10-15 years. And you should take advantage of this rather than go through stupid surfing and getting unconnected pieces of information. How do you think science should be taught? Now, let's face it. We've got schools, we've got classrooms, we've got 40 children in a classroom. Look, I don't know. You see, I've not actually ever been a classroom teacher for science for little children, okay? Oh, what do you, what do you think? Okay, but I have interacted with a great deal. I think, uh, begin with, uh, with children's experiences and analyze them and go on, proceed on that basis. So slowly they suddenly have a feeling, ha ha, samajha gya. They understand it and they go on from further. They become different people altogether. I remember once ages ago in this one of these uh, grassroots movements, I went to a village walking around with children. So uh, I said, Kabi pendulum dekha? You know, have you seen it? They hadn't seen a pendulum because they're in their school there was no proper pendulum. But when I go, Are yaar, kabhi jula jula hai. You go on a swing. So if the swing is smaller, do you go around faster? In less time? And if it's longer, it takes longer time. And they know this very well. If it's very long, then it's a longer time to make one circuit. And if it's very short, then it does this. Okay, you do this, and then you sit down and say, yeah, 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 bring a piece of string. There was no string. So I took out my laces from my shoes and tied them and made a string. And you tied a piece of stone. And I said, okay, now I'm going to swing it. And you find out, uh, how many times a second it does? He said, sir, I don't have a watch. I said, okay, don't do that. You just close your eyes and count. Wait, do, three, four, dus tak. And somebody sees, kitni baar gaya. You get a straight away an idea that when you're counting like that, in an internal body clock is working, which says, ek, do, at the same rate. Mm. Another child says, professor, aise kyun nahi kar sakte? So that's also a time clock. Now these things, putting them together, that there is time here, there's time in the heartbeat, and there is a time, and then of course you can lengthen the string, shorten the string, do various things. So the essence comes in. Yeah. You had mentioned about that, you know, the chuha and that bodhika example, to make that connection between various disciplines in science. Uh, you know, we had, uh, I, with some friends, some people. It's all India science teachers organization. There was BJ Pitre was in running it. And they come once to T events to they came to TIFR, say please come and help us. 
So I volunteered and I used to go to these schools and they were mostly public schools like like uh, Dehradun and uh, various public schools and we did a lot of work with those children and prepared a science curriculum and it seemed to be rather good on this principle. And then uh, when Madhuri Ben, uh, the education officer of Bombay Municipal Corporation, she once came to TIFR and said, you guys keep on sitting here doing research, why don't you help us in schools? And so I volunteered along with some of friends. And we started going and working in these municipal schools. And we found straight away that the examples we had given and things which we had used in the laboratories which they had didn't work with these children because they had a different experience at home also. And so they would then take a question, you are talking of pressure, water pressure, you take a big drum, make holes at various places, then you will find that the amount of water coming from the bottommost hole will, will be more because of the pressure. And a child uh, pipes up, ah, I me, I understand that when we have a gehur, we have a gehur, we have a gehur, we have a gehur, we have a No, all this should be connected. So then automatically everyday experience becomes a science experience but understanding science ka chabd is zarurat nahi hai. One example which is probably in the book also, yeah. but I've been asked, I, was, I received a question once that, uh, that uh, sir I recorded my voice on a cassette tape recorder and I listened to it, it didn't sound like me at all. And when my friend heard it, my friend said, Ah, gata. you swing very well. So why did this happen? So he came, went and asked the teacher, Why did this happen? She listened and said, Not a school question, sit down. Now, I found out later and asked a lot of teachers, Did they have this experience when they were children? They did. He said, what did you do? He went to school and teachers said, to other school questions. <laughs> so, what happens is we create essentially a feeling that some questions are either not school questions or they don't need answers. So, you know, this was very simple. I thought about it a little and then when I go to children now and ask this question, they again say, Samani Aata. I said, all you do is please close your ears and speak your name. Can you hear yourself? She says, yes, sir. Is the sound the same? No, sir. So, yeah, when you're not closing the ear, the sound which comes, which you hear even after your ears are closed, is still there. So, you hear a combination of the sound which is conducted from inside to your hearing organ and which comes through the air which goes through the microphone which the others hear. And so it has to be different. So when I told this story, it is a connection to the daughter of a friend, which was very good. I said, Nina, I heard that this is my explanation. I said, what? I said, I see that some of our songs are coming. Hindi में बोलो हम्म हिंदी में बोलो कि गाने वाले हमारे बहुत उम्दा गाते हैं वो गाते गाते ऐसा करते हैं हां तो मेरा एक हाइपोथेसिस है वो ऐसा इसलिए करते हैं कि वो कोशिश करते हैं कि अंदर की आवाज को थोड़ा ज्यादा अहमियत दी जाए ताकि सुर ठीक से लग सके वाह यू नो व्हाट शी सेड कहती हाँ अब अंकल अब समझ में आया मैंने कहा क्या समझ में आया कि जब मैं रियाज करती थी तो खान साहब कहते थे अरे गधी कानों में रोई डाल ले फिर रियाज कर That's pretty true. Yeah. No, it is so wonderful to make this connection from a cassette recorder, from a child's question to this, to a cultural habit which we have, which is connected physics, biology, and culture connected. Wow. Wow. Fantastic.